is introduced by Paul Tanner. Yeah. And which is a real number as defined by the following um, infinite sum.
And, and in my talk, I would also like to explain some application to the theory of finite multiples in the doubles. So we need to introduce some more notation to explain the result. First, we introduce the multiple.
then the next section, in section two, I would give them um, an outright proof of the first theorem.
most proposed mechanism uh, that substitute the variable p by with p to the p over p to the p minus p minus one to the p. This is equal to the p to the rate of a times the original on the proposal of reasons. Plus some other terms where in the sum <coughs> k prime runs over the own indices which is, whose weight is strictly smaller than that of k of the h k k prime times the multiple numbers. Yes. We can compute uh, this h, this function h, so k k prime, by exclusive free bar using some some, some partial integration. Is it called convergence? It's called convergence. Yes, it's true. Okay. Bonsoir. Can we put the micro? Okay. Wait. And what can we find? A question from Paris. So, ah. Yeah. So uh, I have a question on your formulas. So one question is uh, whether the the empty index is allowed in some formulas, and another question is... Uh, well, yeah, empty index is allowed, yeah. Yeah, so then the, the, yeah, the so value... Empty. And so there are conventions to define things for... Okay. And uh, yeah. so the empty index is considered as admissible as... Uh, okay. Yes, admissible. Admissible. So the, and then yes. H, uh, K, K prime lies in which... Uh, is what kind of thing? Is it in, in the ring uh, R dagger or yes. where is it? Yes. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And then we can define the P as what is it W. And in that degree, Q1 over, over 
and repeat in three, three sections 0 denoted by 0, 1, infinity, each of which has more this capacity P, and, and regard it. And we regard this, the sum of these three points as a normal crossing divisor, and regard this as a, a low placement scheme associated to the normal crossing divisor. Um, then we have an obvious going in, and x is the union of x minus p, which is an open sub scheme where P runs over the subset of three points, okay. which means that the sub subset of P, non-empty subset um, of three, three uh, the set of three elements on which and here we regard this as a closed subscheme of this corresponding to P. But anyway, uh, this Finds in a final recovery of the underlying scheme of this. Now, this covering will be the work by the U. Z equals U. 
Grow up where? Don't don't let grow up in some place. Yeah, grow up so in some yes, in some sort like a yes. This grow up is necessary only when the cardinality of t is equal to two. Yeah, it's something like the back of something. This and grow up with this point of the cardinality of two. Find to the operating sound of the other 
we have to work by the safari. Well, the safari is a defined in the full data. This is the coordinate of the R S component, R S factor of the x to the I of one to the I. Except for the H. Where I run over the zero circle. And if zero if zero is a raptor meaning of F zero is a good back. of the C dot is uh, as far yes. as dimensional cohomology? E, yes. And so when you take the total complex, is it a, a, a total complex where, where it's infinite, that is that uh, you have to take infinite direct sum or infinite direct product? Or yeah, direct sum. Infinite direct sum. Yes. Okay. Okay, I understand what you're doing. And also that um, the gradient species with respect to the weight filtration um, is equal to zero where the index is out and 
when it is even, the properties are displayed species by so this implies that there exists a unique, uh, also the dimensional, one dimensional, and this is the uh, group zero is one dimensional. Group and generated by the image of the eta of n. So this implies that there is this unique linear map from H to Q P such that um, satisfy the following properties. The first one uh, this map is like to denote by zeta. So the zeta is a problem in the data. And the second property is that uh, the image of zeta of the element eta sub m c is equal to one. The key observation to this one. Yeah. 
have in natural structure. Yes, no commuter phone for two rounds. And if we define the green version of the associated, this also an element. And 
Joseph denotes by Darwinus as one of the So there's a problem with a number of the letters being appearing appearing to the point. Convention on the indices. That so you had the, in the mm -hmm. beginning the con the the condition that k one is big at least two, and to call admissible. But then oh. here here we in don't have case, this condition. Or, or what in this case, uh, this, this this assumption is unnecessary. So all the definitions oh. of the periodic things are without this assumption, or only the, this. Yeah. All yes. the all the definitions are without this. Okay. okay. In the periodic. Yes, in, in the whole periodic story, you don't assume any admissibility of the index, or just here. Yes, yes, yes. No, or we don't assume. Okay. Yeah. In, 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll try to do a sketch of this proposition. <laughs> we need to introduce some more location with the Z0 is a solution.
and then to take the coefficient. And then it is uh, the both side becomes a form of the solution. Just to the top of your log, polynomial log, then taking the considered coefficient.
when the subscript, this subscript means that because it comes the form of the form that satisfies these conditions. Let's 
symmetric version of the motific one with the balance. of the, the, you define certain expressions using truncations uh, in the definition of the, you define uh, periodic uh, uh, multiple zeta values, but also you define those uh, uh, in the Kaneko Zagier for, uh, so there were finite subs in F, I don't uh, find it in my, uh, Ah, this one. Yes, yeah, so can you explain the relation between the finite sum and the multiple zeta? So, mm -hmm. do you? Uh, this one? You mean this one? This is the finite sum, so we can consider this pre version of this, then we obtain something like this. Consider what? Uh, this is the finite sum. Okay. It's this is the final sum, and the enclosure P is equal to the mod P, multiple uh, zeta values, and it, it's called, and it is the member of finite multiple zeta values. And, and uh, I'm sorry, this is, P is missing, but this is the limit in um, P and multiple zeta values, but it is related, it goes from definition to the Untype of this version of the of the um, p adic multiple zeta values. So by using this formula, we can relate uh, the finite sum and some reduction of our 
the rings out of the theta values. So, as a corollary of the, as a corollary, you know, uh, Appearing in this final sum is a p adic integer in this case, and it won't be equal to the final sum. By using this, we can relate this and some other. map was not a graded map uh, in the in the blackboard up there and H was graded I suppose uh, H? So the map from H to B is not graded So what does it uh, what, 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 what does it do exactly? Uh, this one? Yes, yes. Does it send uh, the yes. estimates to this two have some gradient. This this has gradient for which follows the definition and this also has a natural gradient. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, uh, so every element goes to a finite combination of things, so or, uh, Every element goes to a finite sum or? or? Yeah, finite sum. Okay. <coughs> okay. okay. So, are there other questions? Okay, so I think that's all for Paris. Okay, is there any questions or comments from Zenji? Questions. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I wonder if there's uh, any relationship between the real data, body data value, with uh, the motivated data value. Oh yes, there is another comparison. Usual comparison map from H. There's a map from H to R by using the whole Bayesian drum from by using the Bayesian drum comparison point. And which maps are the most effective? Well, it's a very good solution. And uh, do, do your results have uh, implications for real bodies uh, values? Oh, yes, but uh, in principle, by using this, uh, in this, this homomorphism, um, it is proved that the um, space of non-physical well, values or fixed space is Bounded by the dimension D. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. The 
there, there are no more questions from Beijing. <laughs> so then, then after the end of the proof of zero one, one, uh, you so you have you mentioned two key observations. So so the second observation says that uh, you have control of the the, the world province. So is, is this is this some something standard? Yes, yes. Due to the main nature of Okay. Thank you. Okay, let's start the speaker.